Praise and worship is a strong component on GXP. Every Sunday only on NTV, your official inspiration station. When we meet people who are different from us, we tend to ostracize them. I watch life stories and I find myself crying every single week. Yet it is these differences that bring out our individual. One day you'll pay and soon your time is out. I love this. <laughs> This is to inform our esteemed viewers that in line with our commitment to give you the very best TV picture quality, we have upgraded our transmission facilities for Kampala and the central region. To get a clear picture, we request that you re- Want it. Make it happen. NTV, turning on your world. Viku sawe mu, takuna wa kuyita kwa de eda chika imu kweti katuso kile masaka haba tuzebe chalo wukonda mu masaka wabavu de mbela nebazibe kubo elida iraka ye chualiriza poliso kuwa gomba na imirizi wanga polisi welinda haba kugo kufi kampala taja haba saji haba nubapa nisibu kusime chini ya chafuri chiku muatano nga chao kuteleka mu mazi wabule gulu omu yale mele duwa okuwa mchinya ne mune ya kiri doku miyamba na yale mele duwa bombi neva fida yon polisi ya tebeleza ntiba nubazi de kubango muka guwa oksijen guwa vadete kusopula kubatu kakoro buwa mvubu ichinya ntv kusawe mo ntambula isanya la doku mara kabanga mbitu nduvye kajansi kuluguda luvai kampala okude ntebe emu kumoto kaza chitongole cha un boi gudu okuwa kuchirole chivadi Dr. Kiza Besiji achali mede ku polisi ya division ye kira wadenga kiri zidua okudeka kukakaru. Besiji ya gala basoke wa mgule kwa msango ogwa mkwasiza. Besiji, Lord Mayor Elias Lukwa, gundiba na vya bufuza balala bakuwa atidua encha nga wete kikira okuyonje chibuga. Lukwa gwene Besiji bakuwa atidua mangu dalanga buliomo ya kafuru mewe ila tibafunye kakisa wade okutuka jibaba devalaga. Muriomu au lilange chibuga chimuruma embera je chiri mu haji yenye gire muri mugunu I have prepared myself to go and work I have I have two your tools with me I will give you two in in due course let's go to the other vehicle there which vehicle the other one which where vehicle? are you taking me I'm taking you to to the where so you have to so yes if I'm on and still Does not change. 
Consumes all. Chief, all I'm telling you is to please stay away from this big Run! Chief! Chief! Now, Greg, if you want to threaten me, threaten me with something more tangible. Not police. We have been seeing police. Shut up! The stories are telling. <laughs> Message from the Holy Spirit. Watch African drama every day, rising with the sun. AfriPix on NTV. Do you know people were even greasing and vowing for me? I made that possible. NTV, Kusawa Moto Chagana Maso. In Barra Police, Eriko, Banabia Bufuzibe Kutene Galida, gave a sons of a Tuzizog Chi, called Abana Mauri, Kunsonga, Zokome programs of Yabufuzi, Kuze Radio. Police came out to a number of a debater door to Chico, or Utali Mumateka. Yes. May you answer what I've asked? You are now I don't want to answer anything. I want more of answering you. Banabi of Fuzibano, our chicory day, Benabi of Fuze Venja Ulo, Baba de Vashar Wakatim Kogera, Nevana Maori, Okumi did engage in government, Bokakaba Ninima Radio, Muchitundu Chino, Okimiza programs, Zebio Fuzi, Police were to Kid, Neva Imiza, Bakwati Dua, or Rock Tuzo Chico no Buchamo, and Gataba Funero Kusa. The press conference, Chita Xatuksuka, who are the inspector general of police, Kubanga Sidari. Baba Deva Kola press briefing. Navy, a boy get a cut to Sanzenti, a bidina security concerns, Eda Bandi, Bandi to one dikide, never to Bulira, Eda Netuba advising. Aba sajabano, ngapaba deba wambibi inebi inja ulo, batu seko polise mbara, ngapaba kwa wanero wawe, nipa galirwa, ngane kati, teba nate wawe. Chigambi wanti ready and digital, Kids FM, Vision Radio, sezimu kwezo, ezteke duwa kama teka agechi kecho. China Juki Ranti wa mkule mbeza ye guanga, jepo vudeko ya labula, emikutuja maulide, okuitide bebi ya gama, nti visasamaza, tika kujiju tuka. Police mu bitundu bye baita abapiri ku lugudo lwe Kampala okudde ntebe ekuta omusajja atebereze ba okubbe bintu byo mu nyumba nga bino bya mukungu akola mu Air Force entebe omusajja ono yakwatidwa bavuzi ba boda boda kusawa nga 10 eze kilo ekikeseza olwalero ono yabadageza ko kukuse bintu nga DVD TV ne bilala byabanga kozesa boda boda Tebeleze wa ntio ni ya sose kukuwa umutu kwa sanze mnyumba kalifomu na rekanga msibide mchinabilo. Wa ebiye bintu wa mfunye otia? Mwke wa kawa mfunye? Mkwa nubwa nge ya nubwa la ye. Uwa. Oyo 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 mkanda wa maje. Mbiyanzo kwe sanga, nga faba fugechilo, tu sango vizi unti. Batu gamba fetu tuwale bintu. Na ye tukeze za kwa kuruwa nisu ubi, nga tu gamba nti. Tugenda kula ganyo mne polisi. Pozi ne pichi pichi ezimu ezito erimbi kamu ezunazo tu chitoa ni ngasiza mchitu. Yabie musirikali wa maji wa Air Force. Abie netuje netu tuka wano waka. Wa musirikali usanga ndi yanyu ndi muganda wa musirikali. Orojeva ita barondo asuma. Obo ya muade kurufu mu. Obo ya muade biruzi. Tumusanzi ngo musajja. Aha mifujo kwa waka kuburiri yeba se mutoi. Tulukui gaba bipaka tu mamaremo kichundu chafu. Etende kere kuleri makere ya kamalire zao kutikira baizi ya basoba morukumi Ila mbukujiko biba devinji mwukampala na mitundu vye guanga ya bidala 
Uruwa alero musinga oba degwe tuboza oba dala chisani de Haba za doktege kira habana wibaka katikira emikolo ijamanye Chokolu vanyimani watandika wakuna unye mirimo Na kuzino tulimubi sera vya kutikira bana ba maliriza misomo jabu Na ula lero mna mwagwe tugeno kutesa kutu gama Antidala chisani de Omuzade senga mutabani wabamu wala unga malirizo kusoma Okumuku watano omuko lila kabaga kesente njenye nyo Kabeka singe ngata inana mwini mwaba sente zuzisani de Azikole mu business ya inzo kubanga atani kila kwa kusinga pate ye yokuwe jalabi mm. Cheta aga sente zu mm. Nozi mwabu winga mazo kusoma mm. Mwabano mwko lila mu business Mwabu ina njenji Usawa yoku mwko lila kabaga Mwabanga tewali to ina njenji Okwata okolachi Uzikuwa atano mwko tandikisa Nomu tandikisa mu business Baba bana banji basomye mm. Na ite baina chakola mm. Hey, kada ato umaro ukolo so mkwa ile eh, kabaga ka milioni inga satu Atengo so mkwa kumuwa milioni mbili Na ata andikuwa chi Na ata andika uo mulimo gokola Hei, yeah. nga mazo kukola uh, Umuana sedo zimu wano mkwa ila mbiziness Singo mkwa ila kabaga hako Kwa wata jakuwa na mulimo gokola Mbete nga mbali obo mkulisa misomu Kwa sedo jiu mkulisa nga mazo kufuna Hei nina so keko ila kabaga Nga mm. mazo kufuna kusendi Kwa mm. <laughs> sedo <laughs> Sisi, buwe maanza uja mune mkwale ya keji mune akwala mu kabizine cha katandika Zeni neyesha nyusha ku okusinjila kubanga liyama jenga asuma mm. Ndaba na chochi iba beto kusinga ku Kusinga ku kubama nchi Jona jona ji kule mulu mupate Koro kukwala uwe mutu nosoka no mua kapito Uwe mutu se, uwe mutu ke banga Nga mazo kora magoba ni nale ta kusente zi wama ku kapito Na wano gata ku Kisa masanyo gaba te gamu wedema Aa, tegawa tega mwe dema Aoge yonge la kumanga Omukulisa kufa kusomero Ateno nasa nyuka nga inane business Jiwa muko lewa Pate yonu nji kufa kusoma siku wangu na ye Chiba cheta aga sente pate neba antono Kale mwanu mkujiso onda sente mso onda nga nyingi No mu wako kusente zina akole chidala Kapate ni mkula katono Kubabu wakola atena afu na sente Liye sanyo edisinga Kusinge eno pate yonu na kurumu Business ya andi sinze mm -hmm. Na hechi ndo chochiri ya mirundi ya vili mm -hmm. Chisi sobole Okule da umutu pate nga madizo kusoma Dizo no mutaba achi asoma Manyaba Habana abato wagala nyobu pate pate Na hata inga tayi ani mkule demu business Na ya haba singa kukachiri saidi vili Ah, manja gala pate Nga chicho ofe niyebo Epale okukula kupate mm. Kwe kulesa hako kubizio iba demu vya mpsem Manji vale melero na iti mabitu kako Madenga ndi atuwe wako lila business ye vila successful ye singa O gamba kasi gamba nga mazo kusome Mba nga enda kufuno umuli mkule sente mkule zangi Na ya katicheta gani sana sama kubazade vangi Tesho wala kweko lila kapate nga mazo kola Nga mazo kola Neta gani nga kola anurede nga mazengo Wala degree nga anjifunye Neta gani nga kola Lelo wetu tewe tubademu mbozi ya fea singo badegwe Umulamu watu bade tutesi anti dalabana banungaba mazo kusome Jura kujia kwa jikuwa kuhu Jura kwa jikuwa kuhu Jura kwa jikuwa kuhu Oh, ya ya visa tsekate amio ka mugezi wa police ya Uganda ida chi kaziri ya makumi abili ezise kusawo mwe bali nyo kubera na pe nateka tumule mkatano dala tovao tukoma one chitondo eche byemeza nyo If you want to succeed in business look for your talent prove it you should have interest Now, Kirik, if you want to threaten me, threaten me with something more tangible. Not police. We have been seeing police. Shut up! The stories are telling. <laughs> Message from the Holy Spirit. Watch African drama every day, rising with the sun. AfriPix on NTV. Do you know Embere <laughs> 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 Ah, 
Nitu ikawo investment seze nja ulo Nitu watu jamu ke jamba Nili yamba pulu sebo Mpira wakati wa Tunisia ni Ivory Coast Gwe chikopo cha Afrika Gena masa kati Gulu mchitundu cha kubilinga Ivory Coast Ina gole mu kubwelele Gole ya Ivory Coast Tebe domu za nyo gavinyo Katika tulabibi mnu Kuya vade mchitundu e cha sose Look over the top as we approach the 20 minute mark. Courbois looking to find the lead, still space on time, saved. Corner kick, it'll be just on the 20 minute mark. Lucina Traore again looking threatening. Javinho played him on onside. Relatively straightforward for the goalkeeper who didn't have to move much. Reflex to get his arm out. Traore heel, and this time no fault. Javinho strikes again. He set up the Ivorian's first goal at this tournament. He then scored the winner against Togo, and he's opened the scoring now against Tunisia. After a good period of pressure, Cote d'Ivoire have finally taken the lead. Hadeke kong kusibu leo pale nyo kubela na fe Tusima nyo na ye tusima buongeru Watu watu midi nyo yon naje msinzi la okulawa NTV Mungere ukwe kumiroko Farida na kazi wimba kaliza wikene nunji Mwerewa What is I love peace. Go We got Please, heaven is waiting for you. One day you'll pay, and soon your time is out. Otisa tisa mon. Siti satisa. Unkubuli da. Yes, utali imba. Ma evi ntumbi mara mo nde gomu. Kati what? I love peace. Go kola bi. We kase no musajja mutwari mabi.
News and TV. In an instant, a man's spine was shattered. It's been seven years, and a breadwinner is bedridden. It is one of the most courageous families you will ever meet. Hello, this is Life Stories. My name is Justine Hoss. Sometimes, you are when we are able to get up in the morning. Stand. On my way to Lira, uh, we were trying to overtake a trailer, and midway in between the trailer, the trailer just came back to our car and crushed us, knocked us out of the road, and we overturned several times. So I got injured in the spine, uh, which left me paralyzed. Robert has been through the unthinkable after losing his spine in a horrific car accident. He has been lying on a bed for seven years, his body thinning away, and his mind lost in the most honest aloneness. Where I got the accident, we were about 10 miles to Lira town. I was rushed to some clinic there. From that clinic, I was referred to another private hospital. Then it is from that private hospital that they discovered he had a very bad spinal injury, which I needed to be brought to Mulago mm. for further management and treatment. Mm -hmm. And five days in that hospital, private hospital in Alira, then I was brought to Mulago, where I spent six months in the hospital. After they did some surgery, to try to align the bones which we have dislocated and period of complete numbness where he is just living through life but he is able to breathe every morning he wakes up to be babysitted by a family he actually heads despite the crushing feeling of grief robert reveals his spirit speaks otherwise How do you live on to another day? That one, I would rather answer it in a biblical way. Mm. Where I suppose a Christian, you might have read somewhere in the Bible or you might have heard where it says that you do not worry mm. of what you will eat tomorrow or what you will wear because your Father in heaven takes care of that. Mm. So how I move from today to the next, I don't even know. S friends can come and drop by that to get this piece of soap, mm. get this scale of sugar, get this scale of beans, things like that. Right. What mm. did the doctors say? Did they, did they say that there can be some kind of this permanent? Did they provide any alternative? You see, Doctors are also funny in their own ways of doing things. I don't know whether because of their professional ethics, at times they may not tell you exactly what they are anticipating. I remember immediately after the surgery, they told me that we have done our part. God is also to do his part. Then they left me on suspense. But after some time, again a little bit of recovery, because initially I could not even lift the hands, but then I started lifting the hands. Then they would keep on saying, it will be okay, it will be fine. Just some words of encouragement. Then after some time, somebody realized that I could try to sue 
that truck which hit our car. If I could get a medical report from the doctors to confirm that the injury was all that bad, which somehow I needed some compensation. Mm. So when I went back to the doctors to get that medical report, I thought that there was no hope. My disability is 100%. I, I still have the report even here. So it is from there then that I realized that, oh, so that means there's no hope. But conviction within me that something could still be done. So November last year, I went back to the same doctor, the chief surgeon who operated me. I insisted, I said, doctor, something within me tells me something can still be done. Yes. Then he said, okay, we are still left with you. And this option is doing some scan, what they refer to as MRI scan. By then, when I got the accident, this machine wasn't here in Uganda. Mm. So this last November, when I insisted and went back to him, then he proposed that we should do that scan, that MRI scan. Mm. This scan normally shows whether there's any injury in the nerves, in the brain, in the ligaments, in the spinal cord. So it is only that one where they can know whether there's still something. So it is tomorrow I'm taking back this scan, the result, to the doctor. Then from there, he can tell us the way forward. You see, I'm a Christian, mm. and I believe in myself how my body works. Mm. Right from the beginning, when they told me that I would not survive out of this injury, mm. I just smiled because within me, I knew I could survive because if I could get out and I could spend some time, I knew I could still survive. How many people were in the car when you got the accident? We were four adults and three children. And how many survived? All of us survived. Mm. Only that I'm the one who got badly injured. And the one who was seated behind me lost one eye mm. due to the broken glasses mm. from the windscreen and the hot Were you driving? No, I was a co-driver. Mm. And the one who was driving came out without even a scratch. This is Robert. He broke his backbone in a terrible accident seven years ago. He has been paralyzed and only able to speak, see and sleep ever since. This is Rose. She is Robert's wife. Rose stayed and she has been Robert's spine all these years. You know, first of all, I never imagined somebody could get accident and be paralyzed completely like this. Now, when it happened to me, I would see how some of the patients, male patients, would be suffering from their own wives mistreating them in one way or the other. Like maybe would say, give me some what I drink, the wife would not. There was one particular one which would not be good for me to mention. Mm -hmm. The man would be screaming on the bed the wife would be seated down drinking beer in the wood, not bothered. Mm. But me, I have no complaint. My wife has been with me throughout right from day one. And when I got accident, she was only two months pregnant. Mm. So she had to bear with me since that time up to now. She's the one now who is the breadwinner. Mm. She has to go look for money. She has to come and attend to me, mm. bathing me, feeding me, dressing me up, things like that. Mm. So, of all the people who have been taking care of me, mm. exceeding even the doctors. Mm. 
besides the health, mm. what did the accident rip you off? I miss friends mm. too much. And I used to read a lot. I would read anything I would come across. And I have the challenge. I cannot access things like magazines, newspapers, some books. And the biggest challenge, even if I may access some books, as you see here, turning over pages is not easy. I might take even five minutes just trying to open up to the next page. So I miss reading, I miss friends, I miss traveling. Mm. That's what I miss most. Okay. So, what did this experience bring to your mind about life? Life, I think I would refer you the way Solomon viewed life in the Bible, the book of Ecclesiastes. Mm. That life is meaningless and very useless. It's chasing after the wind. Because when I left home, I knew I was going to visit people. I knew I was going to do some business. And when I would come back, I would come up with something which would make my family happy. But all this we are shattered in seconds. So life is just useless. We should not be overexcited in whatever we do. We should not have too much hope in whatever we do. We should just know that any time it can be cut short. Mm. I used to be energetic doing my own things, but now there's nothing I can do on my own. I cannot turn myself over from the bed when I'm tired. When I'm hungry, I cannot eat until somebody comes and feeds me. So life is useless. <laughs> help you. If somebody wants to come around and help Robert, what can they do? There are mainly only two things which can make a human being think is worth being on this earth. One, when you are healthy. Mm. Now, if with this result of the MRI scan we have got and I've showed to the doctors and said there's still something which can be done, I think that one will have been the best help I would need from somebody if can be reversed to some extent. Mm. Secondly, without finances, everything is almost impossible. Mm. I have these two children. One is making 13 years in March. Another one is making six in April. They have to be in school. Mm. They have to feed. They have to dress. They need accommodation. So these are the kind of things which I cannot provide. So if maybe by any chance somebody could step in, like uh, helping my health to be restored to some extent, and children going to school, feeding, dressing, accommodation, I think life would have been complete for me. All right, Robert. Um, let me let you have some rest and uh, have a quick recovery. Thank you. Okay. You're still watching Life Stories. We just had Robert's story. Robert's wife is going to join us shortly and tell us the rest of the story. Robert is very lucky that despite all this, at least he had a wife who stayed. She's been the backbone that he lost. And she will continue to give us the story. Stay with us and find out how you can help Robert and his family. Life Stories will be right back. he got into that car heading to northern Uganda that he will come back in a more able position to take care of his family. A trailer packed with tons of goods sent Robert to a whole different journey.
Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Life Stories with me, your host, Justine. Rose is Mr. Chen's wife. Rose is joining us on the show. She's going to be telling us about the terrible accident that her husband was involved in, the aftermath, and how they survived today. And of course, the amazing fact that Rose stayed, not for one year, not for two years, not for three years, but seven years, and she's still here and hopeful. Rose, how are you? Fine, thank you. Mm. How are you? I'm okay. When you heard that your husband had been involved in an accident, did you think it was going to be as bad as it turned out to be? No, mm. I didn't think so. Mm. When I went and I reached there, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Doctors could not tell her anything until she got to the hospital. When Rose met the doctors, she received the devastating news that her husband was paralyzed. His face was divided into pieces and he could speak, though slow, but he could understand. But by that time I didn't understand until the following day. When the doctor called me and told me the truth, they couldn't handle his situation and they had to bring him to Mulago, out of the hospital. But it didn't. After staying in Mulago for one week, he was operated. And we had to stay there six months. Mulago literally became a home for you. No. Mm. No, I mean literally because you stay for in a, place, a hospital for half a year. Mm -hmm. You have to go there every day. I was staying there, and by that time I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. When I got an accident, I was two months. To stay there in the hospital for six months with my pregnant. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And uh, what was going through your mind at that time? Wow, wow. The most important thing I do believe in God, I'm a born again Christian. And uh, I had hope. One month, I'd hope something new will happen. It went to a year, I'd hope something new will happen. Two years, still I'd have hope. Up to now, I still have hope something will happen to him. Up to now, you still have hope. Mm -hmm. Why have you not lost it? I do believe in God. No, mm -hmm. I do believe in God. Mm -hmm. The book in the Bible that comforts me is the book of Job. Mm -hmm. When you read the book of Job, Job didn't suffer one year, two years, or three years. No. But at the end, he won the devil. So that one gives me a lot of hope. I know one day at a time, God will do something great in my life and in his life. Rose managed to go through labor, which she says was miraculously not painful, contrary to the popular belief. Though Rose came back home unsure whether to celebrate her newborn child or more responsibilities, being a two-in-one mother and father. So, around the time of your, your birth, what was life, I mean, around the time of your delivery, what was life like, you know? I, I will never get tired of saying this, mm. but I think if I didn't know God by that time, it would be the best time for me to give myself to God. Mm. My labor was so amazing. I remember it was a Tuesday. I took him to the hospital uh, and uh, I was already in labor. Mm. Took him to the hospital and he didn't know. So I called his daughter Joanne. Mm. I told her, Joanne, prepare yourself, you'll take him to the hospital. So they took him to the hospital. last even one hour. Mm. And I dreaded my baby. Mm. Mm. It was so short, mm. 
praise God for that. I remember mm. one of my friends, she's called Catherine. She works in Mlago. She came, I called, I told her to get for me hot water. And when she got me, she asked me, are you really in labor pain? I told her, yes. She said, but you, you are not like someone is in labor. I told her, but I'm in labor. Shortly when she had just left me, they called and told her, I produced a baby. So it was really mm. something I couldn't explain. Mm. But what I know all in all, mm. God was with me. So Rose, how many children do you have? I have two children. Mm. Job and Rebecca. Job is the first born mm. and Rebecca is the second born. Mm. Rebecca, she's still young, she can't understand, but Job understands and I always tell him, I'm always open with him, I tell him, you know, we have to pray and trust God and we have to pray for that every day. Mm. So Job understands. Rose is the closest person to understanding what Robert is going through. Rose made a promise not to ever abandon her husband, which promise she fulfilled. The situation I'm in, it has humbled me. Because I never knew someone can stay in the hospital one month, two months, but when I stayed six months, just in moment, Mary come and tell me, you know, Rose, I'm in the hospital, I'm admitted. I know what it means. I know what you're going through. So the situation basically it has humbled me. Mm -hmm. How has your life changed? I mean, your day-to-day -day living? I'm so close to God, more than before. I'm so close to God, more than before. First, yeah, it's true, those days I was also so close to God, but now I'm so deeper. No matter what comes, and shoot me. Mm -hmm. I love the verse in the Bible which says, I can do anything with Christ who gives me the strength. Mm -hmm. I know it's not an easy situation, but because the Lord, the one I serve, he has given me the, the grace to move on and has given me the strength to do whatever mm -hmm. I'm doing. So are the children going to school now? Yes. How do you manage to put them to school? That's why I've told you, mm -hmm. God has used many people mm -hmm. to come. Job has done P7. Mm -hmm. I do believe we will go senior mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. Rebecca she has done she has finished her nursery. I do believe she will go in P1. So do they interact with their father? Yes, they do. A lot. Mm. Mm. Uh, so Rose, what has been your biggest challenge? Oh, my biggest challenge? Rent. Because mm. I'm still renting. And you know they have these days how our Uganda is. I faced a lot of challenge with rent. When a tragedy like this happens, we often see it rip marriages apart. Everyone's favorite march can be over adversity, but for Rose and Robert, it drew them closer. How has this condition affected your relationship with your husband? I think it has not affected us. We are more close than before. We are more close than before. Mm -hmm. Rose, what, what is your day like? Because you have a sick person who's, who needs so much attention. You have children, you have you, you have a home. So how does such a day move? Wow. Well, my day, my tropical day, how it goes. Mm -hmm. After get up very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. After getting up, I have of course to prepare him, and you know, to make myself busy, mm -hmm. prepare him, clean him, and do everything really for him. Mm -hmm. And I move out to look after the home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not an easy. Somehow, some way, I managed to move on. Mm -hmm. 
So Rose, what, what has this experience taught you about life? We shouldn't take life for granted. Mm. We shouldn't take life for granted. And uh, we should learn to endure any kind of suffering that comes our way. Mm. Because when you tell someone I've been with a patient seven years down on the road, you're like, what? Are you really serious? It's just like, you know? Mm. But we should learn. It has taught me how to love even more. It has even taught me how to care mm. for a needy. Mm. Mm. If somebody asks you, Rose, how can I help you or your family or your children? What, how can they help you? How can we make this easy for you? Because... Yeah, if I can get someone to help me on rent, mm. to you, that person will help much. Mm. I really take one of the burdens that I'm carrying on mm. my head. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you for talking to us, my dear. Thank you so much. Cover to your husband. Thank I you. pray that God continues to help you. This has been a long time. It's almost a lifetime. Mm -hmm. You've been going through this for a very long time. Thank you for being strong. Thank you for being there for you. your husband. He's your friend. Thank you for not forgetting him. And uh, I appeal to viewers out there. I humbly request you, please come around and help Rose. This is a big burden that she has to, to, to pay the bills for her husband's medication. She has to cater for the children, the rent, and everything. It's been seven years. Seven years are many. It is not easy for her. Please come around and help Rose. We humbly request you, if you have anything to offer Rose, if you have anything to offer this family, call the numbers below or come to NTV. Kampala Serena Hotel, the Life Stories crew will help you and direct you on how you can help these people. You know that when it comes to changing their life, anything, anything counts. Life Stories returns shortly after the break. Once, not so long ago, a neighbor was more of a brother or sister. A child belonged to the whole community. Tragedy in a particular home was a communal concern, and the community was held to be above the individual. Today, fences are getting higher, and the neighbor is a complete stranger. Welcome back from the break. You're still watching Life Stories with me, your host, Justine. Joining us is Mr. Tushale Henry, the neighbor to Mr. Chen's family. He's going to be telling us how he met these people and what, why he became so passionate about them. Find out about true neighborhood that we seem not to have lately, but we do need. How are you, Henry? I'm fine. How are you? Mm. Yes, thanks how for coming. Thank but, you. How yeah. is your Sunday? The Sunday is good. Mm. Mm. It's good to see you around. Yeah. Mm. I had to respond to your many calls. <laughs> we are very grateful about that. And how did you meet the, the family of Mr. and Mrs. Uchin? Well, um, it happened when we happened to shift here mm. recently. So when we came here, of course, you know, when you go to a new neighborhood, you try to look around what is there and what is not. So it so happened that I saw my neighbor Ucheng uh, was always uh, lifted and put outside to get some sun. So I, I tried to inquire what is happening, uh, what is he suffering from, and how long has this been like this? You know, it was so shocking to see somebody lying down almost every day, never sitting up, not even in a wheelchair. So I got concerned and I said, well, can something be done? Yes, we can do something, but this is where we stop, and maybe we may need some kind of support. Mm. Mm. So that is why I decided to uh, to make an outcry, a public outcry, to see if there is anybody who can advise and help in one way or the other. Mm. Yeah, because it wouldn't have been good for me now to be a neighbor, mm. to come here and uh, leave everything as it is, you know. Mm. I know they try to do something, but 
I thought I would also try to add something in the ocean. Mm. Yeah, so that is why I decided to, to, to come to you people to see if you can uh, uh, try to, you know, make for us a public outcry if there's somebody out there who has information or ideas on, uh, on what uh, my neighbor is, is suffering from. It would be nice if uh, this uh, person came and advised and helped in one way or the other. A simple act of concern by a neighbor can change a life or block catastrophe. Imagine a world where neighbor's defense was a reality. How many calamities would be avoided? How can you go so passionate about them? Well, first of all, they are my immediate neighbors and uh, I did not see really much being done on, uh, on, on the patient. So if there was really something being done, you know, to, to, to see that he's getting much better, because I always see his daughter crying, you know, uh, sometimes uh, she wants to go out with the dad, but the dad cannot sit up. The, the dad can't even uh, play with the daughter. So I got concerned. You know, I got concerned. Mm. Yeah. Have you always been this close to your neighbors? Well, it depends on the, where you, you reside. Because some neighbors lock themselves in gates and you can't access them. But you see here we are all staying in the same, mm. <laughs> sharing the same uh, compound. And so it was easier for me to really be close to them. And when I came here, they helped me a lot. The madam helped me a lot to settle down and advise me on ABC. So that is how I really came close to them and mm -hmm. tried to find out what is going on in their life as well. So do you think we still have that spirit in our neighborhoods today? Mm, well, not, uh, not in many places. Not in many places. You see, as the world advances more and more, uh, people tend to live uh, in seclusion, you know. Uh, I was in Germany for a few months and uh, you would meet people on the street and you can't talk to them. They are there. You can't. You can't talk to them. You know. You mind your business. So this is where we are heading. As the world continues to advance, people want to live in their own environment, and that is not very good. Because I heard of stories where in the developed world, where you find people died, say five or six months ago, in their houses, as people are bringing bills, they find that there is nobody to pick them. The last bill they brought is still there, and then you wonder what is happening then one way to find some skeleton in some chair, you know, <laughs> because there's no neighbor, you know, there's not that kind of relationship, which is very important, you know. So th th that spirit is, is there, but uh, in a few places, in a few places and in a few individuals. Yeah, because, uh, you know... What should people know about this kind of living? What, what, what should people know about uh, good neighborhood uh, spirit? Um, it's very important to, to really uh, keep that neighborhood spirit because even in the Bible, you know, they, they, they used to ask Jesus that, uh, who is my neighbor? Is, isn't that what they used to ask in the Bible? <laughs> who, is my, who is your neighbor, you know? What do you think we can pick from his experience? The, the lesson is quite very simple. That anytime anything can happen to anybody, anytime anything can happen to anybody, it is only God who knows our destiny. It's only God who knows our future. So when we are still alive and well, let us learn to love because I hear the greatest gift is, is love, isn't it? So if uh, he was not a good neighbor, if he, was a, if he had a record for being a terrorist or some very bad person in society, nobody would come out to, uh, to stand by him, you know? But because he was a good gentleman, that is why we are struggling to see that we pay him back for what he did when he doesn't have to first die before we can do anything, you know. We never choose who we are related to. In family is family for a purpose. God used a daughter to Robert's brother to make a difference in Robert's life. Well, family is family. Whoever doesn't love his or her family, that means you really have no heart at all. Robert Chen is my uncle. He's a brother to my father. I call him dad. Sometimes I call him chief because of his condition. 
wherever you want to take him. Like when you're taking him to hospital, you've got to carry him. Be careful, it's a long journey. Like you wake up in the morning like I'll do tomorrow. If the appointment is for nine o'clock, you have to start at seven o'clock. Why? Anyone who does not know him cannot take him. Like I have to slant the chair of the car. You can't just carry him, go and put him like how you put a baby on a car chair. No, you have to slant it because normally with this condition, he sleeps all day, whole month, whole year. So you can't just get him up like that and put him on the chair because of the flow of his blood is not like how mine and yours flows. So you have to go slant the chair. He lies down there before you set off. First have to give him a rest like for 20 minutes. Then you can start driving wherever you're taking him, hospital, church. Reaching there, carrying him is also another thing. You have to take care of the neck. You don't just carry him like any luggage. It's really a long thing. It's a big thing. It needs a lot of love dedication, affection. Each time we do it, each time I do it, I really feel bad. I don't love him in that condition, but I have hope something can still be done. We always pray for him, and I know it will be okay. As Rose shares the different moments of her life with the family and Robert after the horrific accident, I can only imagine what she has had to endure for seven years. How do you get the heart to stay and be this strong the way you are and be this positive? I also don't know that. Mm. But what I know, it's God who is using me. Because it's not easy really. It's not easy. Mm. I also wonder sometimes where do I get the courage? Where do I get the strength? Mm. But it's God using me. Mm. And I praise him for that. Mm. Mm. All right, Rose. So what, what lesson do you want people to pick from you especially? What lesson do you want people to pick from families, friends? allow God to use them, mm. not to harden their heart, mm. to, obe to hear God's voice and they follow Him. Mm. Mm. I just want to know how can we make this easier for you? Yeah, if I can get someone to help me on rent, mm. to you, that person will help much. Mm. I really take one of the burdens that I'm carrying on my head. Robert Ochen did survive the accident, but his spine did not. Robert is strong because he thinks about the reason he survived more than the accident. Rose has chosen to get back to life because she lives with faith and not fear. This pain has not been deafening, but has been awakening to Rose and Robert that God is in control. It is not a mistake that they live on. In life, no matter the condition, people are strengthened when they make the pact to move on. That was it on Life Stories today. I'm Justine, your host. Thank you so much for watching Life Stories. From Robert's story, from Rose's story, from what, her, from what Henry did, we understand the use of resourceful neighborhoods. We know that a neighbor, a simple kind act of a neighbor, can change a life. If you want to help this family, thank you so much. I urge everybody to come around and give Rose a hand, to come around and give Mr. Ochen Robert's family a hand. Robert has been in this situation for a long time, seven years, he's been like this. But from what you heard from him and his wife and the medical reports, something can still be done. So come around and help these people. You can call the numbers below or come to NTV, Kampala Serena Hotel. 
and uh, we shall guide you on how to help them. Rose has inspired me so much and I know she has done the same thing to you. Let us learn to stick with people even during times of adversity. Friends, families, wives, husbands, always remember to treasure people even when adversity has come around because no situation is permanent and today it's somebody else, tomorrow it could be you. So learn to love and learn to be there even during the times when things are not fine. You take good care, pray for your loved ones because life can change any second. Take care of life because life is precious. Now, do not think the week was wacky, otherwise this one could even be more wacky. I tell you, mwebale kulaba, mwebale kukola, yecho chikulu nyo. Nabagamba anti mumbera yona tute kwa kukola, tulino genda masu. Neka tuonda cha atu wagali zecho. Orale no kubench ni nao msajja, uh, munabi ya bufuzi. Msajja mwogezi, msajja manyiyo kuzanya mpichi zobi ya bufuzi, mungeriye. Na yoro mu, ba mugo ba kwa mu parliament, mungu mi bili muetano, lua kule merelewa kugera bia buga gabia lina, ajatubu ulirecho buchali. Na yoro vanyuma koti na ezula, ntia ya mugo ba ya chikola mubuchamu. Uru vanyuma na wako mao mu parliament, ilakati ya mubaka walubaga south mu parliament. Ken, luchamuz, nisaniso kula. Hei kutuwa ye. O inaeri nye dalasi manye John Ken, luchamuz, the man. The man. Ah, baden yeah. yera bide. Yeah. <laughs> Olira bila. Yes. 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 Wakatemba ise bivulu mbio bufuzi. Oh, kubela mbio bufuzi wako kwenye gila mbio bufuzi. Sise matalo. Hey. Ah. <laughs> eh. Oyinza no gamba nti. Kwege, wege ya amu, wege za amu. Kupo sobola. Wukisa ngo sobola na ugena masu no kube mpiki. Sibi ya kaka alukana. Ela abantu abasingo bonji. Aba kwa tebio bufuzi. Mungeli enu. Gatibalfudelutaro, <laughs> Sika tembo. Uyobira <laughs> nga wakutadeka wa masa habiti. Walu waku goba. Kugwa kape nje. Wino kwege ndereza. Nisunga ruachi. Awa sirikare wanji kaya nge nyeyo. Inateti. Nabaga mbangati. Mbade nyo kwe kukumako. Hey. Kubanga. <laughs> Kwa ziwa ni ya asemba yoku. <laughs> Kapteni ya asemba yoku. Hey. Ok. Kakati wano msaja savimbi. Hey. Jona savimbi. Hey. Finally, never mut. Tell him one word to walk him out. Where to Mukute? I name is Sango Egiti. I need a full assembly. Zeki Amani YPC. Ebyo fuzi bigenda bitya parliament yeliyetya wali wali ojivudamuko no koma wokati mu mwenda tetandise bubi 
Mbaze right. kakati mwaka mlaamba gumugo kaka. Oso jigele gele nya kuparlamenti yomu kaga. Kupando za tuwa soro kugoba wa minister wana. Mparlamenti yomu kaga. Mm. Lako of accountability. Haba mne wakuma waka. Haba late ne wakuma waka. Haba ne wakuma waka. Haba ne wakuma waka. Haba ne Na ye nzi ndoza nti. Parlamenti yomu enda ena chirazi. Kupanga haba government side. Batu singa muendo mune na nyo. Ne wabango ole sekite so to kirete la ku majority figures. No. Kirete la ku quality ensongozi wumbe wumbe. Nga ne constitution to jisude bali. Buli ya ya ndi badda kuwa kanya. Ne waba kuwe na alemu saidi. Nga alemu majority. Mm. Nga point o girese no jisamwe kirungo cha constitution. Ensonyi ze kula zoka muye. Aya ndi badda ta kuwa gira. Na hava yunga kuwa gira. Kituwe chuna kila wanyo mparlamenti eo musambu Wena leta amendmenti kutaka, kuteka lietaka mm. Niki Ne, ne sinzi ilawo, ne matiza haba ntuguru unji nyo Nti obusu urobu no, buwandu wade busaru hao kusinzi la kusaizi ya ploti yetaka E ploti weri E Nobu nene Bwa ploti ye Oboli yao nevali Enzo kufawo. Bwana nge bala waka anga haba gamba haba munti na saa. Like na ye, ugeno kukakana. Kukuse kandi Mkuru seka andi ya li speaker mbiserebe. Na ye na wakimatira bulu unji neba ne. Nti dara okuchusa mtekeli ochari chetagisa. Presidenti okuchusa ya kugana. Ele teka neliko mao mparlamenti. Ne okusinzi ya kukonstitution ni egama. Singa presidenti ya gana. Neliko mao. Mm -hmm. Na aga nukusa ini ingane, waite na kukunkaga Eri eh, rifuka teka, elana eh, hiki uwechari Yafu keteka amendment ya Kekimu kwebe vye nenyu milizamu Mugisela vye maze Uwotabe na mparlament ya uo Uwotabukida ne faith monde, vintu vyali vitambule vitye Uwotabukida ne faith monde Walu walu talulu nene mm. Ela weba nekumpa mkisandu Ogele ko Kubanga luera ga Mkoti, msprim koti Bwena singwa msangu Chukuri chiri nti, na chiri wa mkuwa yufo mzizani. Mm -hmm. Na inga wa chiri watu walinga satu muna ala. Eh? Zi chukira right. haba mkuwa chiri wa venture chukira walua onarebo mabike, onarebo kagimu kiwanuka na haba lala. Na ye biya nge, nebiko mau. Ngate nalima zoku nyonyora wakiti wa face mwonda nti. Na chiri nti mama wange ya limu wa denga limu koma. Ya lia ine wangi kwa vangiri. Nagara nyo mama wangu wifu mbenga kwa. Mm. Kakati, umta wana kwa hava. Uchigambo kyo kubanti na yagara kunavira muspika mbisele hivyo. Muna vira masu. Mm. Uyagara mumu jemo wwesigi. E, na ina wino wangi. <laughs> Kusende zino, zeba gamba nti. Nenkule ngeda. Nenkule ngeda ngo mizevi gambo. Nino ngeda. Nino ngeda. Nino ngeda. Nino ngeda. Nino ngeda. Right. Sijia genda wala nyo kubanga abandu wa mba inandi yoke doko bali mfobia wa guru nyo. Na hichi andi tulo mta wana chicho. Mupara menti ila ilinyari ya angriba ita the man. Ida tani kila hao. Mm. Wanda ina ingenda kule tekitezo mustairo ya Ken Stark. Ya 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 gara o, o, o mwangange. Kilintoni mkumugati. Choi cho toku wanganga territorial. Ah, territorial. <laughs> eh? Kati mbisele hivyo. Yes. Na kubaga wana stairo jenge dokozi sa ya Ken Stark. Mm. Eh, mm. ya yaleta ya kola impeachment attempt mu Senate okujja Clinton mbuyinza mutalo rwali obo olwa mvenye ene erema mm. ene erema nange linyeri wo weli atandikira atandika ne up to now na ene to abantu bonna nagenda wa professor Nsibambi nagenda wa team rwange minister of integrity yes mm, mm. Ne nyenda wa oikitiba kadaga, ne nyenda wa oikitiba. Kwa gama netu nurawo na. Ne mbi wayo, finally nganze nuhuza vya agenda. Tibi agenda. Vya <laughs> sigalomu. Vya okay. agenda, ene nebida. Ugendo, ulokuwa nari ndishua, nga ni mpapurazo na zenaju za hanzirina. Ne vya obugaga vya nina, viva liwa kungaro. Nga sina chenera likirila. Mm. Awe chani vada cheta kisenyo, obanga tribunal tiyari uo. Bandi bade ba mtu wala mkoti ordinari ni. Ba mvu nani. Kusenzila kuteka. E, e, na inga uwe tigo mwanda. Yalita inabu inza. 
okusinzira ku leadership code busalawo nti ngobeddwa ye mulamuzi ye police ye police chuta ye mula ye yakoze byonna okutwaliza wamu yes. so supreme Kukamba. court ya chijayo bulunje chichava yo bulunje supreme court ya chijayo bulunje nyo vanyima nensingo musango ne ekikuru enje ekijjo kusigala mbitabo bya Uganda mm -hmm nti ba member wa parliament bonna nabawunya oti aso katu yingira parliament yomwenda kumpi ruli buli mwezi nga speaker abagamba bananga ataze yempa pola za ze ataze yo ajja kugobwa okubwa na singo msango si buli langa yo speaker gamba ba member wa parliament bajukiza nti ebya mwe muna abiziwa yo di Ah, ina yenga chitufu, chitufu okulaga, okulangirira, okulangirira mubudde siche chikuru. E chikuru kiri nti, olangiri debichi. Mm. Eh? Era, siku teka fairo ya mba kwa paramendi ku sheriff. Nti ebibi ebili yao, tubiteke debi ebio. Luwaki toko la skrutu ni noga ama na edda la walusi mbibi ayo, debi ebio na ingfe ingatu manjinti ainayo ne, ne helikopter. Nga yo teri iko mtekrarishi. Na akedi kukampala road. Na akedi kukampala road. <laughs> Kicha andi bade chiku. Ok. Elena yiba ajijibo na abagendo kudako. Bakitegi ere. Chari ngeri nti. Bola angirile bintu bebe olina. Mm -hmm. eh, Biebio. Lua ajitipapi nonye rezaako. Tori supposed to call under declaration. Over over declaration. Oteku wako gira amazima genyini. Eh. Ngen kuku nyeri mkoti. Honorable Ken. Bova mu parliament yao. Wajiva mwani ceremonia, chichiche wali oko lau. Te wa missing nga parliament, wa, wakolo uti. Wena misi nga parliament, na ini na kibina kibaita kuset for environmental awareness. Kena kemba denziru kanya. Mbade ni na nebe nisome saa, yumisome jinja uro. Kukutonde buwensi. Ah, ndi na mwusizi wapifana nyi, by the way. Really? Kwa mkona brush o vanti yeah. o inalangi zizi no ziku ziku Bifana hivya nginaka sigabi o nanga wabi gura ya yeah, lindo za the African yam Ok e, Chenatu unze sente zisuka mkumi bili dollars E sente nye nje zi Ya yeah, tu genda tu ya Nja kuja ya tenga tu ya kuja Painter Ya yeah, nange mbale si manji Ya yeah. Dina chilo painter wakabi nyo Ok Ya yeah. Omanyi wa wa Na hiki wajikola nga nga hobe Chia kunyumirua. Eh, chia Chia gala chua mwini chua. Chia gala chua mwini chua. Chia gala chua Ok. Nziju kila bulu nji ndo za ku... Ku olevo jena zume la ekitovu msente nwezi koreji. Tuwali tuuruwa yo edaki ka kuminatana. Tusigile sawa satu. Nga wabule edaki ka kuminatana na, na, na painting a hibiscus. Eh? Eh, eh, eh. Plant jivaita hibiscus. Lakini ukulabe mabiga unanga weju daba hizi haba wele chikumi. Batu na ulira kwe? Batu na ulira ati mputinga kwa finishing touches. Malitisi. Wenateke ilanti eyo. Neba koti ya? Neba koti? Ya. Nyene chitone mkusige mfana. Kwa manyi wa yogera anga nyonti. Haba kule embeze bandivude mbu yinza. Neba tafula kule embeze bintubi ya nono. Ngamba vuna kule embeze obutali obwa febuli obwe nono. Na hivuna obwe nono. Obwe nsenda nono. Atitu batuli yao nga Susan ya Zemo Parliament ya Zoku Juza Gapu yu. Mm. Obanga wa kujemu buhinza, obanga walu wa kutamba de kilo sawa muenda uwebase. Walu simbi. Mm. Omu binajia kurumbi. O, naturally, osobolo koze saa eki sikiona okweru wana in self-defense. Instinct. Ewa nipo kieta mkoti ovulo, na kuzino nisoma mateka. Nipo kieta mkoti ovulo nga self-defense. Mula mza kulitisa. Eh ya self defense. Eh ya self defense. deko bubwi. Ya si were dwa chance kwenyonyola ku. Nange kisi change ye mwana wange ajjo projectinga what I am as a man. Senga tu Era ye songa lwachi banabi afuza abatutu mufu. Kennedy family. Okuvira hey. dela ku Joseph Kennedy yagena mu second world war ku Rwanda na America. Mhm. Mm Okuru mu first world war tuka ku John F Kennedy genda ku Robert Kennedy genda ku Edward Kennedy bonaba ze ba projecting wanguzi wa mkuru wawe obatu siza ka katinga bachi ali ba mai tikuba se, msango senga tugeze se, senga uh, omukuru muhozi adam mchifocho wa president mu kisera chino 
Oinzo kudamu no 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 cha attacki. Ebi ya muzi biyo birala. Kubanga ne ingeli jeva wadeba mukuza. Wali bini mu amatara gani manji ni. Echo chira la ni. Chini njau lo necha suzi. Jau fu nyonyo nyonyo. Eri ali natural desire abantu. Nti omsajja chiki ni derubaga. Mumkuwa na muiti rivu ne malaga mu facing out facing out. Nafe katu balage nti omana we. Tuge na mwa karuru okulu tukuba msangu. Okay. Chuchari chirala. Ok. Nebi nebi ono. Tu, tugenda kuma wata andikida au. Tucha mm. agenda maso netu wa yendine Ken Ruchamzi. Mubaka uwalubaga south mu parliament. <mulia> Katugende maso netu wa yendine. Mwana rebo Ken. Mm. Uh, Echibina cha conservative party chechimu kuhibine biogiru wako Bikulu wano mu Uganda ila chokule mbeda Uli mm. chairman uli president wacho President general wacho President general mm. Wena kwezi tuwafu na umami ya jia wano na hatu nyumiza mm. Ntige katandika chibi ina chini mm. Anina njine kutandika CP wabadewo enkayena wakati wa mwakumale chisebe Elana gama ntisinga mwari mwabu zizako kubantu mm. mm. Mwandi bade mula buka kumisa joyo. Kwa wetu Msajia... wangeli laka akati, kumisa joyo. E, agenda, achia alira, ama wile gondama tutumufu. Na ye mwe, e, tumuamu tegera. Hiyo e, namu new vision, mumonita, na ye misango, buke de. Misango jachi, ya itachatari. Yogeza ako, kwe itachatari, na ukulebula, defamation. E wanga ina yu misango, defamation. Uwekiti wa mayanja nkanga inayo misango defamation. Uwekiti wa ensambu inayo defamation. Jei ya loo zanti wa loo kwa olumu ya liomu kwa ntu omukaga. Abageza ako kutandika wechibina icha iti wanga Uganda Conservative Party. Bageza ako wa bagitani. Bageza ako bugeza. Era tichaso wala kutambula. Obote na achi, na achi korachi na achi jau. Uluwaka kwa hati kichari na kuhu Nishuzi zaavu ganda Nevi vina vila la 1969 Nevi vina vila Nevi vina vila la Nevi vina vila la Nevi vina vila la Babi sanya au Nevi vina vila gama Tepiteke duwa kwa operatinga Nevi vina vila la UPC yeka So Norwecho mkulu seka jamu Sasira nyo msajja mkulu nyo Nevi vina vila la 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 Nevi vina vila Nga churu vile chintu chimucho kacha akuza hawa waka waka. Nga obote asanyi zao alumbi orubiti. Mm -hmm. Tichafu na time kutambu zibwa nechiko mao. Murukumi mulu enda mchina ana. Murukumi mulu enda munga aga mwe vili. Nga tana kita andikao. Uwekitipa mayanja nkangi. Ye ya di hata andiseo chibaita United Party. Uruvanyume chafu ka U... UNP. Ya. Yeah. Simanyo bochi wachuli lako. Na chuli lako. Ate mubisera evi ankaga mumu kaga. Uwekiti wa mayanja ankangi ya likatikiro emengo. Mm -hmm. Mulukumi mulu enda mchinana. Uwekiti wa mayanja ankangi. Neva neva mlondo. Baruanga. Babirungi. Bacheyune. Na baralabanji. Baseremba. Bakato. Bata andika wekibine, echa iti buwa konservativu. Sipi. Mumuwezi buwa umunana, lukumi mruenda, mchinana. Yes, Ye sipi jotu lina party. uruwalero. Naba antawa tutu mufenyo nga wakatenda puli mwebali. Ye sipi uruwalero. Zine mpapula seka jazari eta sitambu dena zori ilo. Wagambi danti, nalaba kona uwe ngo tadeko mkono uneinkanji na haba antawa bala. Nga munga ambawe wawo wali wa sepina yetu kili zanti ya msaji ono ya ina rolo kutani kawe chibina. Seka jia ekibina nchi. Chari cha ufu nyo. Necha conservative party. Na hivu etuwa la banga akola marobo zimanchi. Umuaka guwe nku miebili mweta. Netu gamba. Na. Vina vyo nabia zibobuja. DPS zibobuja. UPC zibobuja. Vanyi maruwa referendum. Na fene tu munga amati. Na uwe. Eri nyari uliteke kwa ngoo muku wabu. Haba nansa angu wawo mwukuzi wabuja okwe kibina. So singo mutandisi. So singo mutandisi. Okwe kibina nja conservative party. <coughs> Bino vya gamba nti. Era ndo uza sebo chuma imbu unji kwa jia. Walu simu. Mm. Nti evi vino kufana nyeri nyo. Nga lirilana ganyi. Sichi. 
Asiri, Ford, Kenya. Eh? Eh, Chibira, Obli, Chafe, Uganda, eh, 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 Uganda Conservative Party, eh, Chafe Conservative Party. Era eh, Olabi, eh, Chafe, begin the Rabia Fe, eh, Bia Conservative Party, Mwemuli, Obwa Kabaka, eh, Obukama, Obugavi, eh, Chava Zinga, eh, eh, Obukumiza Benono. Mm. Mwe muli okuzao no kwenye miliza mbu wangu wa fensi buko ya fi. Kwele omuchiga, simu sangu. Kwele omulangu. Mwezongo cha muta values za mwe. Za values za fi. Mwe muli okuruani lila e obwa nanyi ni wetaka. Njoke doa no, nti na chuu se eteka e lietaka. Urokuwa ndi wa sipi. Ila sasa anga wuzibu kwenye nyora, obulu nji wetaka. Obuloba, obulu nji kubwa nanyi ni wetaka. Mwe muli okuruani lila obutonde wensi. O conserving amateka marungi constitution and nunji, no conserving obutonde wensi. Those two. Chechibi na chafi. Kakati yao, kakati walusini. Tu inza riyale kukonfusing ya chili 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 ya wekiti. Agamba ji. Agamba ante watuoka no kule mira muofisi yobwa yo, yo sentebis. Maino ole meso okulonde. Walone watu kana aganti no. no uh, uh, Omisaji ya hita kakuyamba. Computers ya chibi na nojisitu. Ya agamba. Ya agamba. <laughs> Ya gamba. Hey. Tulokuwa na rundi wa mu desemba wa lukume mruen. Wa, wa kume bili mweta. Banda wa rundi wa mbifobi na uluvanyuma. Biba sanyo kubela mu ofisi. Na hata kima nyanti. Bwe tujanga tujuze bifobi tali mbantu. Eh? Tuvela ne common goal ya, de, ya delegates conference. Ela fenda tuvila kolumu. Echo ta chitegera. Noro echo. E kibina kia conservative party. Siche echo kechi rude wo kuteka o delegates conference. Chichechi ruisa. Ebi, ebi ntubingi ebi ruisa. Tuo inza kumalaga gama ndi kakati nze warusi mbi, nze secretary jeno nangiri dente keo delegates conference. No. Delegates conference wa nanyini wa neke. Neke esala o gwene kusindika o ite. National Uya, executive webali. committee. Neke. Yes. Eki ntuwe kila. Wate kukupe la o senti ezina alisa abani ba delegates. Eki ntuwe kila. But abantu ebitundu ebyenja ulo branches za mu zite uko kumatira nti zizi zo buja abo abagendo kubakikirira tiki kuyamba kuteka out delegates to conference ezo eronde make nganda ye abantu beronda mu bali off the course tubategeza financial implication tuba ina mandate ya bana yes let to subira nti ebibyo nango bitadde wa bali ti umwaka guno Ogwe enku mebili mweku mebili tujia kubatu maze kuteka weguna guera konga tutada o delegates conference sabu ya delegates conference nange nze njini nga president jeno wechibina sina uyinza kusala o nte ina kubela o nchia mm. e ino kuhita mitendero constitution kie gamba ya conservative party mkuru seka jo yogede kujia computer vyo na alunga ya kuwa vile e, nisa e, mkuru mm. seka jia ibi gamba vyo njaga njaga la ambiro ndo olebulu unji <laughs> kubanga sina kindi baro ya zibanga wajia biko sisa ba mtu wali mkoti nze guoda ba wanu nzi, nenyu milizanga luchamusi sina nyo na ye kibina cha angendo za kumare miaka angabi lejise mbade nchitoni la chinene kukasende kemfu na kona mkawayu nga sina wana kufuka na president wa kibina cha abia ufusi tuwa shiari nganga siri nisi lukumi na umu wikiti wa mayanja nkangi tu sabolo kubeza wa kibina cha fi lukumi mwaka chogu mugie kina neyo Nore chetu ulira bulu unji nge chibina cha fechigenze maso na inga chisigaziza principle. Oku kaka saka tiye chava doe na kwezo. Omukuru omu tuwa mgoba kuwa sekitari jena. Sijia mwagera. Titikie mm -hmm. tagisa. Mm -hmm. Na inge sonda nga yetu sinzi la kwe nkuru. Ya gano ukulaga accountability kusente za mirundi ingena. Neke ne munabila umu maso. Ba life members ne munabila maso. Ate juri ya wala mu na kwezo ngatulira. Mbualonze kayondo ya abaye simbao. Kubia, Kubia East Africa ni parliament. E, First ba, of all, okulonda omunte ya simbao duwa chabi romu. Bandibade chance jabo nane ya simbao wa bagara. Echi okubi, neki mkonstitution ya conservative party. Ye inobu inzo kakasa omuntu ngoyo. Ye uyo ya mteka utai nza ataka gamanti ya mkakasa. Yansu nga duwa chenda kwezo. Na nange na, na, na gamba no, sija kukiliza vintu vina. Nengena mu... mparlamenti, linda kwa, nengena yeah. mparlamenti. Rotuma zao kutegeza parlamenti, nti yoyo mtu siwa fi. Mtu waena ale, mtu mtu siba ako. Nibaga anu kitegera. Mtu kena kuparlamenti, muunda mwenyini. 
Empuli yanga ba musoma. Nti oyo ya chikili desipi. Tinayeru cha amzi ye president. Ye president, president. Eh, Nenye mirira. President, chair, gundi, speaker, na nyima chanso kwa ogera, oruwa soka. Oruwa didira, ngapa mazoku wa report, yobu limba, na imirira. Nengamba, point of procedure, emirundi ya satu, na agana. Echirunji, echa kuba speaker, na okutege ranti siri muteni. But clerk, speaker na wala gira, next item, nsome item wendala, ni bagana. Awe na yogere ebigambo bibiri, ebisoka, echisoke la dara, mm -hmm. nti, speaker, Parliament, tese wakura kukaka atika kusipi mtu atali wayo, wakibina chilala. Nekisemba yu, nengama nti, NRM, tetu kaka atika kwa mtu uwe. Nekwa atama fairo, ena kakasa, nekwa atama fairo, neneka andaga. Na yenga babaka wa parliament, uwa nabala wika, bampa gide, era bagana, okuwa mtu ya karuru, okutuki za chibari bapanzi, nga kukasi ya NRA. Ochari mchaji ya conservative party, ayu nchaji? Nze president, nere romba mulichiku. Tobanga wa sigazari. Tobanga wa sigazari. Ati nze njoke dechi. <laughs> Ati kukwa singa bali ya bali ba, ba, ba kwa right. announcement kwa mparlament. Right. Nchiki li rechibina cha conservative party, mparlament. Nze president wa chibina nze ka, atula mparlament. Chari kizibu nyo kukwela kuchibina changi, speaker na ngano kukwela. Era neka andaga, nefa, nefa mbuyinza, mkitibu eki ya muendo, nga ndaze e principal e chibina, cha conservative party. Walewa dekwa mchibina chila, before conservative party. Sibela nga mchibina chila, okuja ko, na ringe genya kubela, muka baka eka, na inga andali muto nyonga, sinaba kufuna wa member. Ka, ke wai webidea wa ine miaka? Uh, Kenju yuki robulu nji inti, okwefuga, tuwefuga meka. Mkaga mwebili. Mkaga mwebili, na ine miaka. Na inga wego mba bantu ba na babidi mba. Nego mba nyo abantu wenja gala mmenye. Mm. Uloku banti tata wange yali, yali wabi ya bufuzi nyo beba muku bata ndika o masaka growers cooperative union. Yokana luchamuzi. Ne ye, ye, yokana luchamuzi. Mm. Yasiba ne kirevu nga kabaka wamu ngangu siza mm. kutuka anga akomyeo. Mbaso mako nyabu. Ne serivesti zidi auramu uh, yali muami wachare rutunga nga yazala mama wangi. Nolo chuzali waba kungu, uchimanye cho. Mm. E na yenga, mbawele kila nyo, muraresi. Right. Emu kurare, yali ya maa nyo jenala, jenaka laba. Yelanga sija kudayo kujiraba. Ya kubwa, um, wekitibu wa mgenzi bendikito chuanuka. Yes. Ngachare nyinga, Francis Walugembe. Yali mea wa masaka. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Na mga ma, ntigwe, tuwa kwa ni kadi ya fe. Hatika kati na uchi uka. Yali olo wa mba chusa. Na yelu mwiki Mwui ngaze mkapa kaika. Ngafude modipi. E, babu webali bagamba. Mwui kemu yoka Francis Walugembe na kuba public. Masaka nenda baba ntungabali nga mwenyera habali abaka baka ika. Mwia fayo biangi nga andi kuhunsi walusi mbi. Sinaba kulaba kivina chabi ya ufuzi chali kipade mba ntubanji nga kabaka eka ila mubia five yu osomi obulu unji kabaka eka bali ba mtu wala ni mbali agulewo branchi obote ngalavi ulusegendu lwa mbairu nambi ya kabaka eka eh? na hati ya nyo na, 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 na gamba ti mugenda e, masaka te baba kubia mwesima inti ya gasi ya liwe mbisele vyo ti ya gasi ya ti ya, ti ya, ti ya liwe <laughs> na hiche ngama ti waluge embe nga mutade wa bali ila mm -hmm. sisobala mute kawa bali Kubantu, haba manyo kukunga, no kudomira, eki gambo, mworo litricha, hei yalia, hayo gira na mayembe. Yali tazanya, hey. nga mayembe wegaba wegali, nga simpeo, nga sibi abulimba, wenzo gama, nga mtadeko mayembe. Hey, Hatu na yalia muwazi, eki tone cha communication, nga yugira, kama kaeka, nsi yona ni gama, nti hati, haka lugo, taka waka waka eka, unokawani. Ya, yeah, mazima genjini. Olonga na uliya o gama. Nga andimu wana muto, nga na ina henge genya. <laughs> Nga mba nti iduli balumu na angi Lui. Nengenda katuti okay. Ila kia nyamba nyo Okulaba kubogeza abamanyi Nalaba kwa kumuchala nkata Obo wadio mwuride Nalaba kwa kumugenzi Professor Sente za Kajubi Lui. Nga alikadara Ayambala em, 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 Sati ya mikono mimpi Nalaba kwa kueria Nalaba kwa kwa eh, Apolo Kironde Kukadara Nalaba ko kumasembe kabali. Agustino kamia ali wawo. Agustino, Agustino kamia ba muleta kawe kabonera. Nga uba bububi jambo. Hmm. Nenda ba kone omugenzi um, um, ruwande. Kena akuli laba kozi. Ya uba bububi jambo. Ya gamba ya kule mbilo kwe kalakasa. Ya liga. Ya liga. Ya kalakasa nga awakanya. Abantu okudominating waba yindi mbusubuzi. Ya abantu nebazi. Ele kintu chemu na kizemu. Buena wademu luchiko. Oluwa KCCA. 
Nenga hey. mati gwe muchala musisi njaga lo kutegere nti bono bonya bonya abantu baffe <laughs> abali mu Kampala atenga bibasinga mu bunja abanaku twinzo kutumira mukama azukuse Agustino Kamya olabe kinadao za mugamba gambi e yali wa mai hey. ke kitegeza nti ne kibuga kino e kibuga Kampala bananyi nti abasoka be bantu ababuli jo true Eroli bwa very nga atuleta ko lugezi gezi mbunzize ku modernization nga tamaze ku mo, modernizing nga bantu ba bulijo he is deceiving okulete nkulakula na lugezi gezi eh nguluba lugezi gezi nga tamaze ku involving nga bantu ba bulijo atenga bebanji <laughs> tugenda kutandikira simanyo bo kitegeke uh, katu katu kome wota andike yeah. uh, tucha agenda maso ne tuwai ndine keni luchamzi mubaka walwaga south mo parliament <laughs>
ziyali ya wade mbisere ebyo kusomero chiteza wa yagala nyo msa yagala nyo kenede atera ninjagala nyo debate ne tuteka umoko debate ya leta umbaka wa amerika ngomu genye mkuru umurundi ogwaso kira dila kusomero mm -hmm. nze mwenaringa leader opposition la team mm. nari tuwage genya nganze bazi lili wapatilingaya eh, yeah. eh. <laughs> Okay. Kwegamba leader opposition. Mm. We wanna see never fuka what the P Mokare. It has fuka and what the Pina yeah Moko debate. Nature mbad day in Tegeza and T Aba is a basso medical mu sent in with college. Yeah, or what debate. Ate by nanga give a funanga mwabit ababa yanga ba member of a club we have. Muzanti batia. Buabiranga member of debating club. Nga tweet amasomero nga mukag. Mwari nga tuinte koleji na bingo, gayaza, mwiri koleji, ntari, nga mwuri mna haba mm -hmm. Kakati basa nga wo disco, mm -hmm. neba ziyo kama sumurule nyimba, neba sa wole dezi choisi. Eh, Kati haba na haba wala hapo na haba li nga beta vye mazina, nga baga la kuzina nwe ya wangu. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Wangule, choice. Okay, E speeches is a call of a contana and a cabaca to another museum. Nayo is what to chat a tackle of good drama. Kubem is a near Jolomoji Gangamina Jizan. Yes, in Akatimaya, Chant of Venice, yeah. eh, Mada in the Cathedral by Bernard Show, uh, Latigani, eh, the Winslow Boy, Enzanyam Jalisan, Java Dugavao. What is so in Kayaja? It was in Kakongi's harvest. The Sams and Yavanang of Amzan and Ains and I sing a Yokozanaza Diaba Zoom. Drama of Mwagal, Namwagal and you, Nakora literature, and an early teacher. You employ a lot of techniques. Yes, as a Nazi communication. Communication. Communication are not trained. Communication are not so called Okwe Gomba. Osovole, Okfuna tactics is a persuading woman. Mobigambe very persuasive. Yes, on the right, Mukugere Zakonti, Abam Kuantara to Mufuku, Kogera, Kukadala Wanu, Mubia for Uganda, Murimu uh, Francis Warugembe, Murumu Oyo Eari Ewe Express, Murimu Center Zakajubi, Murimu Eria Rebuga, Murimu Chalankata. Some of the most fascinating speakers. Ava Inzo Kogera and even Yomone Biva Mutaka. Hey. Navalabako. Okay. Abantu abo bansikiri. Yako mazo. Mwena labira. Abamu kubogezi inga. Professor Webusta. Welcome to NTV Weekend Edition. Now the 4GC are at it again as former opposition leader Dr. Kiza Besije and Kampala Mayor Arias Lukwago spend the day behind bars. The power of the media using the radio in the fight against Kony. These and more stories coming up, but first the headlines. Besije Lukwago arrested as police foil planned 4GC activist campaign. Denouncing the LRA, how a radio station in Congo is encouraging rebel combatants to surrender. Fresh allegations. Billions of shillings could have been lost in the construction of houses for Acholi chiefs. And Uganda ladies basketball side beat Rwanda to finish third in the Zone 5 Nations Cup qualifier.
Once again, welcome to NTV Weekend Edition. I am Josephine Karunji Musisi. Now, today, 26th January 2013, Ugandans have marked the 27th anniversary of the NRM, and it is on this that we engage you tonight. We'd like you to share with us your views on what Uganda has achieved in the last 27 years of the NRM. I repeat that, would like you to share with us your views on what Uganda has achieved in the last 27 years of the NRM. Please do send us your responses. We will take a look at them during this bulletin. On to a top story. Early today, police arrested former opposition FTC President Dr. Kiza Besije and Kampala Mayor Arias Lukwago while they were attempting to leave their homes. Deputy Police Spokesperson Vincent Sekate says the two had disobeyed lawful orders prohibiting them from continuing with their planned activities, which could breach peace in the city. By this evening, Lukwago was still held at Kira Road Police Station, while Dr. Besaje was detained at Kira Division Police Station. By 7 a.m., police had already deployed at the Lord Mayor's home in Wakaliga to stop him from going ahead with a planned stay clean-up exercise dubbed Kampala Stay Young. But to police, the activity had been hijacked by activists under the umbrella of Forgotten My Country, 4GC, an organization which was outlawed early last year. I told you to go back, you refused. So if you don't want to go back to your house, then let's go to the police. You see, it is still morning. Let's go. I had enough rest at night. There is no reason why I should go back. Police wanted Rukwago to abandon his plans, which he refused and was subsequently arrested. Just tell me you are under arrest. I've arrested you. But drama ensued when Rukagu refused the commander of Operation Samo Omala to share with him a seat in this police pickup truck. This seat is meant for one person. Oh, one person. You are not going to sit, sit behind. I've ordered you directed. Sit behind. If you fall, sit. But this seat is meant if for you one fall, person. If you fall, and you make us right, what do you say? There are two options. You either sit behind or you let me go I'm there. I'm telling you, you will let go. You will sit here. A few meters away, a police minibus was called in and Lukago was taken to Chira police station where he spent most of the day. They had hijacked his activities, so there is nowhere we could associate ourselves with an organization which is existing illegally. Earlier, police had arrested the former FDC leader Kiza CJ on the same allegations of disobeying lawful orders. Police sources told NTV this evening that Besige refused to make a statement and also rejected a police bond demanding that police explain reasons for his arrest. He defied the police orders and he went ahead. It's for that reason that the police had to arrest him for disobeying of, the, of lawful orders. Last week, members of Fort GC announced their plans to join the Lord Mayor in cleaning up the city, but police warned them against it, arguing that their activities had other motives. Julius Senkandua, NTV. Radio messages calling for Konyu rebels to return home from the jungles of the Democratic Republic of Congo and the Central African Republic are yielding results. Since October last year, over six Konyu combatants, some of whom were abducted by the rebels, surrendered as a result of radio announcements calling on the rebels to abandon the insurgency. One such radio station is Tangazeni Crystal FM in Dungu territory in the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has demonstrated the power of radio. Francis Chingo is in Dungu's DR Congo and has sent us this report. I'm these are some of the actual radio messages broadcast on Tangazen Crystal FM in Dungu territory in Democratic Republic of Congo. Guys, Peter, Tatamana Dunduko, Kini Nduna Tundu. Thanks to Invisible Children, a civil society organization operating in Uganda, DRC, and the Central African Republic. Radio operates in the vast and remote areas of Dungu, covering over 100 kilometers. Interestingly, since Konyu rebels infiltrated DRC, Reverend Nimborigi Kendaru, the director, is among the victims of Konyu insurgency in Congo. I was building the brick house. I have not been able to finish it. So I'm now living across the river. I have left my house due to this 
LRA thing. I had an uncle. He was old in Napopo. When people ran away, he could not run away. So the LRA came, pushed him in his house, and burned the house. And even soldiers, when they came to protect the population, the LRA were coming this way. And recently, Kony rebels operating in this area, the Central African Republic and Sudan, killed five locals and one is still missing. It is not long time ago, six boys, hunters, between Nyangara and Napopo, they went hunting and they were all six arrested and they have found five dead bodies. Nevertheless, this small radio has recorded success and since October last year, over 60 reported they defected from the rebel activities in DRC and the Central African Republic. Uh, the beginning of last year, we started broadcasting welcome home programs uh, encouraging those people who are in the bush to come out. It's about 85 kilometers here from Dungu to the Central African Republic and it's at this center where returnees from Konyi rebel camps are being rehabilitated. Cut us off the radio messages. Majority of them here are Congolese but have been operating with the rebels through abductions. Hundreds of the Congolese in Dungu have lived in fear, but little can be done apart from this radio station that preaches messages of hope. This is the very, very same messages that are being broadcast in Acholi. Then people will receive this, and I think we have succeeded in doing that. Jingo Francis, NTV, Dungu, in Democratic Republic of Congo. Next tonight, as investigations continue into corruption in the office of the Prime Minister, fresh allegations are emerging that billions of shillings could have been lost in the construction of houses for traditional chiefs in a Choli. The 50 houses were built with hydro from bricks following a request the chiefs made to President Yuri Museveni as they were returning to their homes from the IDP camps. However, it appears the construction was marred by shoddy works and misappropriation of materials. Construction of the 54 three bedroomed houses, accompanied with the servant quarters, started in 2009 and most of them were completed in 2011. However, just a few months after completion, the floors with the construction in most of the houses started emerging. Cracked floors and walls, leaking roofs, and plastered and peeling walls were easily noticeable. Because even those flooring, which were broken and remade, still had cracks. And how many times should it be done? He says a report was made to the Prime Minister's office and some of the floors were redone, but the same problems reoccurred. For instance, the Deputy Paramount Chief George William Lugai's house in Pajule sub-county in Pade district was redone four times until it turned down a fifth attempt. There was no follow-up right from the foundation of the building and we complained in vain. The ratio of maram to cement was also not well balanced. Despite appreciating the gesture from the president, some of the chiefs like Benjamin Bongojane Mutu are not impressed. He showed me through his hours, pointing at all the anomalies. When you see this you know, this gap, you can actually see the next room. We have a big problem here with insects, spiders, what, ants, all sorts of things. If they want to leave it like this, they should have filled this, professionally done it, so that there is no gap. At Paibona in Awachi sub-county, I found a traditional dance practice on calls at the home of Raimondo Torach, which equally had problems. There have also been conflicting reports at the cost. The Prime Minister's office earlier estimated each house at three categories of 90 million, 72 million, and 68 million. However, it is reported that the office recently estimated each house at 240 million. I would personally love to, to be in a house of 200 million. This, to be conservative, 50 million shilling, maybe that could be less. The chief said it was agreed that during the construction, 
The manual laborers were to be sourced locally, but this was not done. Each house was reportedly allocated 350 bags of cement, but some chiefs also reported withdrawals of over 80 bags to take to other houses, which were not also delivered. There are also reports that the work was not contracted, but that the contracts were taken by OPM staff. In addition to poorly fixed doors, the toilets in the master bedrooms have not been fixed since. The chiefs are now demanding for an independent audit query. In the meantime, they are not dancing to the same team with the Prime Minister's office. This is one of the houses where shoddy works are alleged to have been done by the office of the Prime Minister. Now the chiefs are demanding that the work should be redone so that the bad spots are corrected. Moses Akena, NTV, at Paibona, in our white sub-county, Willow District. Thank you, Moses. Now, three officials from the Ministry of Public Service who were yesterday arrested and interrogated by the police have accused their interdict interdicted superiors of drafting a fictitious budget of 88 billion shillings to defraud the government of money. The officials are reported to have named the former Public Service Principal Accountant Chris Obey, his deputy David Oloka, and the Pensions Commissioner Kunsa Chwanuka as the architects of the graft in the pension sector. The accused officials were today grilled by officials from the the Criminal Investigations and Intelligence Directorate for close to 10 hours. Sudil Biahanga has more. The Under Secretary of Finance and Planning, Margaret Ojala, and Joseph Tegeza, the Assistant Commissioner in Charge of Policy, Planning and Budgeting in the Ministry of Public Service, were some of the officials interrogated yesterday. According to a source pivot to the interrogation, the two officials distanced themselves from the scam and instead pointed a finger at the heads of department. The people said to be responsible for the budget allocations are Christopher Bay, the former principal accountant, David Oloka, senior assistant accountant, and Kunsa Chiwanka Steven, the commissioner of pensions. The budget was included in part of the ministry's expenditures for the financial years 2010-2011 and 2011-2012. According to government procedures, every department is supposed to draft its own budget and send it to the Under Secretary, who then integrates it with those from other departments. The heads of departments, together with their permanent secretary, then meet MPs from the public service and local government committees to defend their budgets. According to a source, the former permanent secretary in the Ministry of Public Service, Jimmy Ramafa, asked the different heads of department to explain why taxpayers' money would be sent on the alleged non-existing pensioners. The Pension Act excludes beneficiaries from contributing a single coin to NSSF, but the committee reportedly approved and passed the budget, an act the police say was done to steal public funds. Jimmy Ramafa, the former permanent secretary, yesterday alleged that Kunsa Chiwanka Steven and his accomplice did several things behind his back during a police interrogation. The officials are supposed to produce a list of the beneficiaries alleged to have been paid, the huge amounts of money, the accounts to which the money was deposited, and the banks. Some of these will be used as proof of the alleged fraud. According to a source, when the officials were asked about the alleged 88 billion shillings that was transferred, they simply said they do not remember. But according to another source, this transaction was done in 2010, 2011, and 2011, 2012 financial years. The suspect's lawyers waited patiently for nearly 10 hours as their clients were being grilled. <laughs> Sudil Biarhanga, NTV. Residents of Namaya village in Nagongera sub-county in Tororo district are protesting the alleged grabbing of a community school and assets set up by Father Joseph Kitcham to benefit vulnerable people. The residents who staged a peaceful demonstration are demanding the arrest of one Geoffrey Odoi and others who they allege have embezzled the project funds and sold off some of the school assets. The project that has a community Girls Secondary and Nursery School was receiving support from donors in the USA, Germany, UK and Italy.
the demonstrators majority of who were women and children marched through Namoya village waving placards three branches and dry banana leaves protesting the grabbing of their community project <laughs> They also alleged misappropriation of close to 2 billion shillings by one Odoi Geoffrey. They say Odoi and others have now changed the project objectives and started giving out loans. So-called Odoi, Geoffrey and his team, and even the LC1 of this area was here, was called somebody like World Gold. I'm not afraid to mention their names because they have made us suffer. The community is suffering because of them. Yes. 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 I'm very sorry. Now you can see the community. They are very miserable. They are crying for their grinding meal to be brought back. But where can, can we find it? About 100 seats for the, nurse, for the infants were stolen. All the, 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 the tables, all the books, all the organized materials for teaching uh, had got, been taken. The Namaya Solidar Community Project was initiated by Father Joseph Kichama with the aim of helping the poor people in the village to access education and basic social services. Actually, when Father Kichama saw that the children would suffer, and he wanted the sanitation for the children. And it would be very far as the nursery school would be near, near here. He decided to put here borehole so that children would not again suffer with the bad water. And he created this borehole for the community. This community has been suffering a lot since the priest was removed from the management by unknown people. So today we are here to tell the world that this multi-million project was brought by a priest called Father Kicham for the benefit of the community. More than 200 residents have already got houses and there was a plan to construct more houses for 500 poor people using donor funds. Lord Jesus, I pray the Almighty God to look upon those people, the sub tours, the grabbers, the thieves, they are now calling our dear father fake father, but he's not fake father, he's created in the image of God. Let's now take a short break. When we return, we'll have these and more stories. Masaka residents battle police over delays to retrieve the bodies of two people who died in a water pit. And in sport, Edgar's youth program concludes youth football clinics with children's competitions. NTV Weekend Edition continues after this short break. Don't go away. your talent, prove it. You should have interest. From day one I was feeling that I can I can do something from my own. If you've been working for people for all this time and all this time then there should be a problem with you. But for us we give you what you want. So Welcome back to NTV Weekend Edition. In our poll question tonight, we asked you to share with us your views on what Uganda has achieved in the last 
27 years of the NRM. We have some of your responses that have come in and we will start with Abora Winifred who says a war-free country, stable economy, improved infrastructure, increased revenue, but NRM needs to fight corruption and has a lot more to do. Herbert Bart says enabling environment for business for both in and outside Uganda, especially in the neighborhood. We can now do business with the countries surrounding us. Buses can run from Juba to Bujumbura, Tanzania to Nairobi. Now they can start working on corruption. The security agreements with our neighbors will not let the thieves go and hide there. The anti-corruption bill will do the best in fighting corruption. Well, thank you so much for your responses. Stay tuned. We shall be bringing you more of them at the tail end of tonight's newscast. Now moving on, residents of Bukonda Trading Center in Masaka District have held a protest over a police decision prohibiting one of them from retrieving bodies of two of their colleagues who died in a deep pit that they were digging for a water reservoir. The angry residents blocked the Masaka Rakai Road with sticks and stones for three hours, paralyzing transport. This is one of the angry residents of Bukunda Trading Center in Masaka District protesting the police's refusal of allowing them to retrieve the bodies of two men who suffocated to death yesterday morning. <laughs> The locals went up in arms after the police stopped them from trying to retrieve the bodies of Mugerwa Sekabawi and Mutasa Jabira. The two men started digging this 150 feet pit meant for a water reservoir in November last year. One of the fire brigade officers who attempted to retrieve the bodies almost suffocated to death after his gas cylinder ran out of oxygen. And it's that incident that prompted the police to stop the locals from attempting to get the bodies of their colleagues out of the pit. The irate crowd turned rowdy and was dispersed by the police. The Southern Regional Fire Brigade officer Moses Muhanguzi says this is the second incident that has happened in the area since last year. The Masaka police have sent for another gas cylinder from Kampala in order to retrieve the bodies. <laughs> The National Forestry Authority has suspended the eviction of 1,000 people from the Omnia Forest in Nebi. This follows an outcry from local leaders seeking the resettlement of the people. NTV's Moses Akena has the details. Omnia Forestry Reserve spans over 2,280 hectares in this remote mountainous area in Nebi sub-county, about 30 kilometers from Nebi town. It is suitable for crop growing and animal rearing. Perhaps it is this reason that has led to continued encroachment by neighboring communities and those from as far as Paida Town and the Democratic Republic of Congo over the last 30 years. The encroachers now number over 1,000. Luciano Opa claims he settled in the area in 1975 after retiring from the army and thinks the eviction is unfair. This is a very painful issue. If you have nowhere to go and yet you are being evicted, how do you feel? On Wednesday and Thursday, the National Forestry Authority began the eviction of the residents after a December 2012 deadline expired, following repeated appeals for them to leave since 2006. Despite the peaceful eviction, some of the residents were still bitter over the exercise and engaged in confrontation with officials from the Environmental Protection Force. You are not supposed to be in the forest. Those crops are not supposed to be in the forest. And we have told you we are not going to destroy those crops. The eviction was however stopped following appeals by Padilla County MP Joshua Anwarach and the NBLC5 chairman Robert Okumu over its timing 
for you getting here. For you, at least you are getting recommendation that yeah, he has done the work. But what am I doing? It is not an idea. But have you seen that I have interest in you? There are people who have interest and they are pushing you in front. However, the encroachment prevention specialists at the National Forestry Authority, Jim Owona, blame politicians for frustrating the exercise. This forest you see across there, that is River Nyaga. We are the, they have built hydroelectric power for this area. But the problem is that people have encroached and are finishing this forest, which is going to affect the river. We had been talking to these people since 2006. We have agreed last year that they should leave this place by December. But now we have come to evict them. Politics has come in. They are stopping us from going ahead with the eviction. Anyang Binyang, Bongo Stele! Moses Akena, NTV. Police in Bara district have arrested 10 activists from different political parties for holding an unlawful assembly in the town. The activists belonging to a group known as Western Uganda Media Panelist Forum were arrested for addressing a press conference at Bara's Freedom Gardens about the government's alleged intimidation of radio owners. As we talk now, some radio programs on and digital radio, Vision Radio, Hats FM, Hits FM have been suspended and moderators suspended indefinitely. It's very dangerous to our mother country because political talk shows it's our program to, to, to actually it's a, our role, it's a voice of voiceless. Not everybody must go to parliament to express what Ugandans want. If radios are there, they are intended for people to talk there. But if radios are there and then people are not allowed to express themselves, then it is a waste of time and people's money. The activists belonging to an umbrella association called Western Uganda Media Panelists Forum were arrested for holding a press conference at the Freedom Gardens in Barara Town. The group reportedly called the press conference to condemn the government for blocking political talk shows in Western Uganda. Immediately after addressing journalists, the police swung into action. The forum's chairperson Joseph Kiza says government should prosecute the individuals who utter comments deemed offensive during talk shows instead of suspending the programs. But the Southwestern Region Police spokesperson Paulina Namaya says the activists disobeyed lawful orders. So of course we had to arrest them and right now as we talk we have some in our custody. Uh, we are interrogating them and we are carrying out further investigations. Uh, we, we believe that we shall discover uh, much much more from our investigations as to their concerns. Uh, we, we are holding them uh, at the moment on charges of disobedience of lawful orders. The threat of facing closure for hosting people critical of the government has had a chilling effect on many radio stations, forcing them to suspend political talk shows. This crackdown on the media falls President Yoweri Museveni's warning last year of closing down media houses that broadcast or publish material that incites the population or undermines government programs. We'll take another short break when we return in TV Weekend Sport. Kamusa <laughs> 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 Ori pasta, ngo chawa, orimba, oba, oyenda, orinaba kazi wa satu. Please, heaven is waiting for you. One day you'll pay, and soon your time is out. Otisa tisa mon. Siti tisa tisa. Mkubuli da. Yes, utali imba. Ma evi ntumbi mara mundi gumu. Kati what? I love peace. Go kola bi. Wega se no musajja mutwari mavi. Ah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go
Tumanda bana baga mbaga bana 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 Abiranga vuru, a dormant volcanic volcano. When Bamu Kirizan in a taku, Mujita, at Taku. Welcome to NTV Weekend Sport. The Uganda national ladies basketball team has finished third in this year's Africa Zone 5 Nations Cup qualifiers after beating their counterparts of Rwanda in the last game played at the Tanzania National Indoor Stadium. Uganda beat Rwanda by 80 to 68 points. Meanwhile, their male counterparts wound up their expedition this morning in fifth position ahead of Burundi and Tanzania after beating Tanzania by 87 to 63 points in the classification game. We have some pictures from Edgar's youth program concluded their soccer clinics this evening with children's competitions for the different age categories that had doves, crawls, and kangaroos emerging winners. Until the junior girls, Mango Cubs, and Pearl Soccer Academy graced the competitions as players gave testimonies on what they had learned through football during the holidays. Edgar's youth program concluded their holiday soccer skills development sessions with competitions in different age groups including the under 5, 7 and 11. Doves overcame pigeons by two goals to nil to claim the under 15 championship. Wild crows and kangaroos beat Uganda Revenue Authority sides 3-1 and 5-1 in the under 7 and 11 tournaments. Each of the participating players received a certificate while overall winners were given a trophy they will have to defend in the next holiday. From this competition, I've learned fair play, I've learned the laws of the game and how to follow them very well. Officials are now looking to taking the youngsters to international youth events aimed at enabling them get used to playing in well-attended matches in other countries. Alfred Odon, NTV Sport. The inaugural chess clinic started at Hotel Africana in Kampala this morning with learners who included children and adults taken through a lecture on the importance of taking on the game. 
Again, as we're taken through the board design and how each of the pieces moves. Uganda Chess Federation's recruitment drive kick-started today with a new approach of introducing the game to children at an early age. The two-day exercise began this morning with these youngsters being taken through how the different equipment, including the board, are used. The classes will continue tomorrow as Uganda Chess Federation officials aiming at putting in the talent base from which the national teams are picked. This is also expected to lead to formation of other clubs as the number of players grows and thereafter increase competition. Chess helps in logical thinking, chess helps in creativity, chess helps in improving grades at school. Chess in most countries in the developed world is used as a learning tool. Chess is part of the curriculum. Chess helps with maths and somehow when you learn chess, you learn to plan your life and helps you solve situations. With us left for the Pool Association of Uganda to go for their elective assembly tomorrow, the position of chairperson has four candidates, each with a promise to change the face of the game and win sponsorship, as well as make it a household name. We caught up with Juma Witonze and Adam Subi for their plans, if given the two-year mandate. Current chairman Farouk Omala tells NTV he will seek a second term with plans to enable him guide Uganda to international glory and improve on infrastructure at a national level. I'm going to go. I knock on the door of the president of Uganda. I tell him that, you know what? You need our votes. Can you give us some land around town? We construct a pool arena somewhere such that this game can also listen like other games. The job I do with Post Bank, I move uh, uh, around the country and this would help me like in the evenings because my work is during the day with Post Bank. In the evenings I would meet people from different districts and uh, uh, I would definitely talk to them and uh, uh, bring them the game to their districts. Ivory Coast have all but booked their place in the Africa Cup of Nations quarter-finals after beating Tunisia by three goals to nil. Gavino clinically finished off a superb combination with the China Traore to place the Ivorians in the lead. Here, Traore made it to up before substitute Tiede Yakonen sealed the victory with the third. Look over the top as we approach the 20 minute mark. Courbois looking to find the lead, still space, on time, saved. Corner kick it'll be. Relatively straightforward for the goalkeeper who didn't have to move much. Reflex to get his arm out. Traore here and this time no fault. Javino strikes again. He set up the Ivorian's first goal at this tournament. Just moments after hitting the 20 minute mark. And an impressive display in the opening 10 minutes is capped by this fine finish. We simply forget the uh, role that Lucina Traore played. The little back heel. And that's all the sport we had time for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Don't go away. I'll be back with your comments for tonight's NTV Weekend Poll. that all music is beautiful and that's why NTV brings you the catalog every day at 2 15 p.m. with the classics on Monday reggae on Tuesday country on Wednesday Africa on Thursday. 
Thank you for keeping it NTV. Now back to our NTV weekend poll. We earlier asked you to share with us your views on what Uganda has achieved in the last 27 years of the NRM. And my response is we have Joseph Fat Opio who says peace and development has been achieved but they need to fight corruption and tribalism. Herbert Biaranga says there are many radio stations around the country. This plays a very big role in the fight against illiteracy and contributes to the improvement of social lifestyles. Alex Wagumere says the NRM has, however, failed to fight corruption. And um, the Herbert Biaruhanga says the NRM is very disciplined. The army, the NRM army is very disciplined. And he says he was here during the time of Amin. Well, those are your thoughts. Thank you for sharing them with us. Let's take a quick look at Sunday's projected weather. That's all the news we had tonight. Thank you so much for watching. For myself and the team behind the scenes, it's good night. Your Saturday afternoons just got better on NTV with Exposed.